At five, justice was not served, so says family members. After Malika Bennett pleaded guilty to second degree murder today and learned her sentence, Bennett killed her four year old daughter in 2020 and buried her in the backyard. Police say four year old Majelic Young, also known as Jelly, went missing after visiting Bennett. Months later, CMPD found her remains in what they called a shallow grave in Bennett's backyard. WCNC Charlotte's Jane Monreal was in court today, joins us live from Uptown Charlotte. Jane, the little girl's family say that they don't think the punishment here fits the heinous crime. That's right. The judge sentencing Bennett to 25 to 31 years. That sentence, the family says, should be much longer. To a minimum of 300 and a maximum of 372 months in the Department of Adult Corrections. I'll give you credit for 781 days of free trial confinement. That amounts to no more than 31 years, with just over two years already served. Being able to be out at 58, and 50 is like the new 2030, so we'll still have her whole life ahead of her. What Jelly, the family, we don't have that. Family and friends of the young girl who was last seen alive in the fall of 2020, not mincing um, so words yeah, on how they feel this, about the punishment. I, I, want, I don't want her to have no time left when she walk out them doors. The day she get out, you need to be old and gray or in the grave yourself. Jelly's aunt, Shamika Wade, says she's angry Bennett's two other related charges were dropped in exchange for the plea. It took so much in me not to get up and do something crazy because I got kids to live for. Wade and Jelly's cousin, Jasmine Smith, say they're a strong family and will continue to honor Jelly's memory because that's all they have now. It's unfair because she's not here no more. And by 25 years being the minimum, that's nothing. The judge also recommended Bennett, while incarcerated, receive some psychological counseling. We're live outside the Mecklenburg County Courthouse in Uptown Charlotte. Jane Monroe, WCNC Charlotte. Jane, thank you so much for that report. And remember, you can always get breaking news updates by signing up for push alerts inside the WCNC Charlotte mobile app. It is a free download in the App Store and Google.